Hi everyone, welcome back to Mr. Andy's class. Today we are going to learn about a new topic. It's about songs. Wow. Do you like sing a song, guys? All right. Yes, me too. Okay. So, uh, actually, guys, uh, if you want to learn English, uh, you can learn through by songs because it can help you to learn like easy to remember pronunciation and many things but i think if you want to learn about grammar uh, i think yeah you need to be careful because uh you know the lyric is not really structures because they want to got the rhythm in the lyric okay so yeah back back again so in here guys we learn about song yeah uh yeah you know that some of you in here really like to sing a song even though like uh korean uh maybe mandarin okay maybe english but in here i hope that you really like to sing english song okay all right so actually what is a song by the way a song actually according to this uh, definition song is a composition of a tone or voice in sequence combination and temporal relation to produce a musical composition that has unity and continuity okay so in here it means that there is comp combination and temporal relation the produce musical okay and according to the dictionary www.dictionary.com it means that a song is a poetical composition it's also poetry uh, okay uh, you know that a uh, song also is one of the uh, example of poetry yeah so uh, you know that poetry also uh, we can say about their sharing their life yeah it's like if they broken heart they can write in the poetry or in the songs okay okay actually guys why song uh, is written by the writer of okay, maybe the composer or the singer okay we can know that the purpose songs are used to express feeling yeah feeling if you want like falling in love uh, broken heart yeah happy sad okay you can uh, we can say that you can write in your songs so, or probably guys uh you can uh make a song to our hero like nurse doctors nowadays because covid 19 still exists nowadays it's not over yet yeah okay to give your grateful or thankful yeah you know that also songs can be used to deliver social criticism yeah you know that in indonesia singer they're always like a singer give the criticism you can say that uh it went false do you know it went false right yeah he really like to write a song yeah about social criticism for the government okay so usually that uh in the song there's a value in the hidden lyrics that uh we can say that very implicit yeah is it implicit yeah yeah not really like say the the meaning yeah the meaning but really hidden value moral value or the meaning okay so in here guys guys we know that uh some also has figurative language or we can say that language features what are they okay first is the metaphor okay do you know what is metaphor right because we have learned about this one before okay i'm gonna take my pen in here guys where's my pen i'm gonna use i think the red one yeah metaphor oh this is so thick wait i don't want to make it thick okay metaphor yeah it's comparing two things that are not alike to suggest they have something in common okay it's like to compare one thing to another thing okay for example this is compare her hair was silk it means really soft 
Oh, maybe really good. I think, yeah. There's this is one, and this is one. There's two things, okay. And then the other is simile. Yeah, do you know what is simile, right? It's like to compare two things, but in here, the difference between metaphor and simile. In metaphor, there is no like or as, but in here, metaphor, you can say there is a to be. Yeah. For example, simile in here. Uh, my love is like a red rose. It means that uh, her love really like a red rose, right? A compare means that mm, you know what is red rose, right? Maybe beautiful, maybe also good smell. <laughs> I don't know, maybe romantic. Yeah, kind of. Okay. Next is hyperbole. Yeah, you know what is hyperbole? It's a dramatic language, like big exaggeration, usually with humor. You know that uh, really exaggeration. In Indonesia, say, melebelebihkan. Yeah, for example, the math, for example, the math homework took me 8 million years to finish. So what, what is the hyperbole? Hyperbole in here is 8 million. Yeah, 8 million. Yeah, how come? It means that math is very difficult that's why he needs to finish uh, his homework long need a very long time okay okay next personification you know what is personification like right it's like the object uh sometimes like a person like a life yeah uh, okay the for example the wind the, the wind is whispered maybe we can say another example the wall is uh, listening yeah it means that be careful people can listen to all of your story yeah yeah that's an example of personification next alliteration you know, you know what is like alliteration it's like repetition of the same beginning sound remember repetition beginning sound for example peter parker pick a pack of pants pound 20 yeah Peter Parker pick a pack of pants part 12 okay yeah this is uh, like the sound really like same okay all right any questions if you have any questions just let me know okay next the structure generic structure a uh, song okay you know that people write a song there's also a structure guys okay for example they have the first one is intro is the intro actually is the beginning or there is an instrumental in the song then the second one is first like introduction to chorus okay there's a refrain it's like tran transition to chorus chorus is the main usually chorus is the main of the song yeah usually that in the chorus is easy to remember okay after chorus is bridge is, is transition to coda or chorus yeah coda is it's a classic, yeah, in the last part of the song. Okay. Alright, let's take a look at an example. You know this song, right? Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I'm very sorry, my voice is very bad. Okay, but it's okay. I like to sing a song. Okay. Uh, back to the topic. You know Katy Perry, right? Or you know the song? Yes, I think that you know the song, right? Katy Perry. I used to bite my tongue and hold my breath. Scared to rock the boat and make the mess. Okay, okay. Maybe you can continue to sing, okay? Okay, this is one example of the song that I've taken from uh, the internet, okay? Uh, you know that this song really like um, Katy Perry uh, expressed about herself that really like a roar, okay? So, let's analyze this one, guys. Let's analyze whether there is uh, the figurative language in the song, for example. Similar in the song, yeah. Uh, you know this song? You hear my voice, you hear my voice, you hear that sound. Like thunder gonna shake the ground. Okay, okay, this is similar, guys. Why? This is like in here. Like means that uh, her voice really loud, like a thunder. Yeah, like a thunder that can shake the ground. Yeah, it means that war, really, yeah. Uh, like a thunder means there are a comparison uh, a comparison between 
uh, her voice and the thunder in here. Okay, this is one of the example. Next, metaphor. Yeah, metaphor in here is like, you know, uh, the example, right? Because uh, I am a champion, a champion, and you're gonna hear me roar louder, louder than a lion. Okay, which one? Which one is the metaphor in here? Yes, because I am a champion. I am a champion means also you are gonna hear me roar. Roar. Okay, I'm gonna, I am a champion. This means that, yeah, she will be a champion. Like, she's really like, I'm the winner, guys. Yeah, I'm the winner. I can finish all the things in here. Okay. Okay, this is one of the example, guys. Next. Okay, is there anything that you know? Yes, if you have anything, just let me know, comment, or give me your uh, analysis in our Google Classroom or in this comment, okay? All right, now your homework. Okay, your homework. Please, guys, please find an English song in the year 2019 till 2020, okay? But remember, please don't choose a root song. I don't like that, okay? Please answer some question below. First, uh, after you got the song, you have to answer this. First, what do you think about the song? Yeah, do you think the song is an inspiring song? Why? Yeah, why? What is the theme of the song? Okay, what does the first of the song? Yeah, we can we have learned about that one. What does the chorus of song mean? Okay, so you here if you got the figurative, oh not got it, sorry guys. Uh, please find the song that there are figurative language in the lyric, okay? Like simile, metaphor, uh, what else? Hyperbole, yeah, and etc. Okay, after you find the song and answer these questions, okay, please answer these questions with recording yourself okay recording yourself in your recording please introduce yourself with your name class schools and subject english subject yeah and then after that you answer the questions for example okay i think the song is about blah blah blah, blah, blah. okay you uh, you answer uh, you make the video like this guy okay Okay, it's up to you guys. You can make like really creative or what? Okay, maybe we can make um, something out of my mind probably. Yeah, okay. After that, don't forget your closing. Yeah, your video minimum like two minutes. Yeah, remember your video must be landscape. You know landscape like this, this landscape. Okay, upload it on your uh, Instagram account. Tag my Instagram and this is uh and like this does okay and hashtag learning english song with mr andy okay and then the deadline is april 30 yeah at 11 59 p.m okay before 12. okay so yeah guys if you do this if you more creative i will more appreciate you yeah if you more this i will more appreciate you yeah make something like good your creation yeah let me know guys okay all right uh that's all for today guys if you have any question just let me know okay please uh i'm gonna tell you something as a announcement uh we will have exam on our, our daily our daily exam on this one on may 4th yeah on may 4th okay just be ready all right thank you do you have any question guys if you have if you don't have just let me know thank you so much guys for watching don't forget uh be safe keep healthy and keep praying okay god bless you all thank you